A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of hostilities, Israel's military launched airstrikes on eastern Lebanon on Tuesday, as reported by official Lebanese media. This military action follows a day of intense conflict with Hezbollah, the Iran-backed militant group, which has been engaged in fierce clashes with Israeli soldiers. The tensions reached a boiling point after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to show no mercy towards Hezbollah, promising to strike at the group throughout Lebanon, including its capital, Beirut. Netanyahu's statements came on the heels of a drone attack by Hezbollah on an Israeli military base that resulted in the deaths of four Israeli soldiers and injured around 60 others. We will continue to mercilessly strike Hezbollah in all parts of Lebanon, Netanyahu declared during a visit to an Israeli military base near Benyamina, south of Haifa. The conflict has intensified dramatically since Israel expanded its military operations in Lebanon last month, following a series of Hezbollah rocket attacks. The Israeli military reported that its troops engaged in close-quarters combat with Hezbollah fighters on the outskirts of Rab Tlaton village, while Hezbollah claimed to have launched missiles and a barrage of rockets against northern Israel. Sirens were activated near the border as the situation escalated. The ongoing military actions have resulted in a staggering death toll, with at least 1,315 people reported killed in Lebanon since the conflict's escalation, according to figures from the Lebanese Health Ministry. However, many believe the actual number of casualties is likely higher. In a separate incident, Israeli airstrikes targeted the eastern Baqa Valley, damaging a hospital in Baalbek City and putting it out of service. The International Committee of the Red Cross has expressed deep concern over the safety of ambulances and healthcare facilities, calling the attacks on these vital services deeply worrying. As the violence continues, the humanitarian situation in Lebanon is deteriorating. Anis Abla, the civil defense chief in Marjoun, a southern border town, stated that rescuers are becoming increasingly exhausted due to the relentless nature of the strikes, which are also endangering their lives. Our rescue missions are becoming more and more difficult because the strikes are never-ending and target us," Abla lamented. The Israeli government maintains that its military operations aim to push back Hezbollah to secure its northern borders and facilitate the safe return of tens of thousands of displaced residents. In northern Israel, the impact of the conflict is palpable as local residents express fears about the ongoing violence. Youssef, a restaurant manager in Kfar Kara, voiced his concerns about the implications of Hezbollah's recent attacks on military bases. Now they know where that base is, what if next time they fire and are slightly off target? He questioned, highlighting the anxiety gripping the region. In response to Israeli military actions, Hezbollah has claimed to have launched a squadron of attack drones targeting Israeli positions, framing their strikes as retaliation for the ongoing assaults. This cycle of violence is further complicated by the broader regional implications, as Hezbollah's actions are also seen as support for Palestinian militants in Gaza, particularly Hamas, which triggered the current war with Israel following an attack on October 7 last year. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza is equally dire, with Israeli military operations resulting in the deaths of over 42,000 people, the majority of whom are civilians, according to the health ministry in the Hamas-run territory. The UN has described these figures as reliable, underscoring the severity of the situation. Amidst the ongoing violence, the UN Security Council has expressed strong concerns regarding the safety of UN peacekeeping forces deployed in Lebanon since 1978. The peacekeepers have faced injuries from the ongoing conflict, leading to renewed calls for their protection. Despite requests from Israel for peacekeepers to get out of harm's way, UN peacekeeping chief Jean-Pierre Lacroix has affirmed that the Blue Helmets will remain in their positions. As the situation continues to escalate, fears of a larger regional conflict loom, with Iran, a key backer of both Hezbollah and Hamas, engaging in diplomatic efforts with allies and other powers. Iranian Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi recently met with a senior official from Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi movement in Oman, signaling Iran's intent to navigate the complex geopolitical landscape. Jordan's King Abdullah II has also warned of the potential for a regional war that will be costly for everyone, as tensions rise in the region. In the midst of this turmoil, the Israeli military is reportedly weighing its response to an October 1 missile attack by Iran, which was launched in retaliation for Israel's killing of Tehran-aligned militant leaders. 
U.S. media reports suggest that any counterattack would focus solely on Iranian military sites, avoiding nuclear or oil facilities. As the conflict in both Lebanon and Gaza shows no signs of abating, the humanitarian impact continues to escalate, leaving countless lives in jeopardy and raising urgent calls for a resolution to the violence. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.